Giants are in the playoff and there's nothing better than being at the ballpark, watching your team play, and of course the food at the park. One of my favorites is the sandwich we're going to do today, a Crazy Crab AT style. Anyways, here's the sandwich AT style, sandwich de cangrejo. Instead of fries, we're doing patatas brava. Here's the ingredients. Two potatoes that you're gonna peel and you're gonna boil first. Uh, some mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard. We've got an avocado, an heirloom tomato, lemon, ground mustard. Of course, you go to your fishmonger and you get some lump crab meat and you leave it room temperature. And I'll explain why in a little bit. And of course, the baguettes the baguettes of Asiago de Queso. After you peel the potatoes, you cut them lengthwise and then you're gonna come three different ways into quarters. That way they boil or cook quickly. I like to boil them before I fry them. If you like the music, this is by my buddy Christian, Pacific Mambo Orchestra. La canción se llama Overjoyed. Okay, so now for the binding or the binder of the crab, I put lemon in the mayonnaise, ground mustard and mustard and then it's gonna lighten it up. You see, once you mix it together, so remember, I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise, but when you put the lemon in there and you add the ingredients, it changes the dynamics of it, and that's the consistency and color that you want it so you can bind together the crab. You loving that big bounce sound? We gotta switch it up. So Christian and Pacific Mambo, buy it on iTunes. So now the potatoes have boiled, you drain them and you dry them out because when you put them in the oil, you don't want the oil to pop. Leave them in the oil for about 10 to 12 minutes. As you're frying them, now you're gonna get the, prepare the ingredients for the sandwich. All right, the heirloom tomatoes, this is how thin you wanna slice them. Remember, you put this on the bread, crab, and that's it. A little bit of avocado you'll see at the end, but that's the pureness of this sandwich. So now check out the potatoes. You see how they got nice and brown and crispy? That's when you're ready to take them out with a spoon, put them on a you know paper towel lined plate, salt them right afterwards, and then you're ready to make the sandwich. As the potatoes cool, you put the pan on medium heat, that's where you're gonna press the sandwich. Christian just texted me, he said, instead of iTunes, buy it on CD Baby, I guess he nets more profit. Anyways, grab the knife, slice the baguette down the middle because now you're preparing a sandwich. This right here is patata brava sauce. That's gonna be on a future episode that I'm editing right now. That's just onions, garlic, pimenton, oil, and tomatoes. Remember, I try to avoid mayonnaise as much as possible. So anyways, now that you've sliced the bread all the way through, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to get it, and that's the thickness that you want because you're gonna press it two, three minutes on the griddle or the pan. You put the heirloom tomato on both sides of the bread. Now remember, this is a sandwich that I get at the ballpark every time I go there with my brother. But you know, I don't even want to tell you how much money I spent on ballpark food so you can make this at home. So you grab the crab that's at room temperature with the binding sauce and you're just going to lay it on top of the heirloom tomato. You want to stack it nice and thinly because remember, these are jumbo lump crab. So you don't want to mess around with the integrity of the crab taste. always season your heirloom tomatoes, salt and pepper, a little bit of chili flakes. Now you want to put a little bit of butter in the pan, two to three minutes each side. Uh, I don't have a panini press so use this pan and you want to squeeze it through. Remember you just want to toast the bread, the, everything is already cooked, the crab, of course the tomatoes are nice and fresh. So once you take it out three minutes each side, I add a little bit of avocado because I like it, you don't have to do it. Slice the sandwich down the middle and remember what I always tell you, it's all about presentation. So you're going to grab yourself a white plate. Remember the patatas and the salsa brava are waiting to be plated as well. Someone watching the show asked me if I was a chef. I'm not. I'm just a home cook who loves to eat good food just like you're at the restaurant in the comfort of your own home. But check out this sandwich. You got the crab, avocado, heirloom tomato, white plate presentation, boom. Just like you're at the ballpark but at home, but instead of french fries with garlic and parsley, we did patatas brava, estilo español. Now you gotta get some to drink, so you're gonna cut some orange in uh, wedges like that, some blue moon beer in the comfort of your own home, watching the Giants. That's what I did on this night. Our Giants won, and we're on our way uh, to hopefully another World Series. 
Acuérdense que siempre cocinen con música. Cook at home, it's fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking AT Style. Y hasta la próxima. Y acuérdense, síganme on Twitter.